Hi and welcome to Velo GPS. In this video we're going to show you how to update the data screens on your Garmin Edge 1030. So to do so you need to select settings from down the bottom and within settings you then choose activity profiles and then you select the profile that you wish to update. Next we need to select data screens and we can then go about updating the data screens. So to change screen 1 we just tap on it and then we get the option to choose the layout and data fields that we want included. So firstly, we have the layout. Now at the moment, we have seven data fields displayed because we tend to prefer this, having three larger data fields at the top and then four smaller ones at the bottom. But you can have as few as one data fields or as many as 10 data fields. Now we tend to find that 10 gets a little bit cluttered on screen, but as we mentioned, you can have as few as one and our optimum we tend to find is seven. And even within 7, you do have the option to change the layout, which just allows for larger data fields to be displayed. So here we have the three large ones and four at the bottom, or we have the option to choose a slightly larger one in the middle, which you may use if you wish to display a graph such as heart rate zones or similar. So we're just going to go back to our favoured setup, and then we select the tick at the bottom. Now to update the data fields displayed in the screen, you just need to tap the field you wish to update, so that's now selected, and then if you tap it again, it brings up the data field categories. So we can select from the data field categories, and we're just going to update that one with a simple distance parameter. So we've gone into the distance category, and we have a lot of fields that we can choose from, but as I mentioned, we're just going to choose a simple distance. Now another neat little trick, which allows you to switch these around quickly, if you wanted to move time of day into the middle here, you just select distance, tap on it to select it, and then you tap on time of day and you can see that the two have now swapped around. So we're just going to swap them back. Okay, so once you're happy with those, we select the tick at the bottom and then we can navigate our way back to, forgive me, the data screens page. Now once we've set up the first data screen, we do have the option to add in five or, or rather four more data screens so that we have five in total, again each with up to 10 uh, data fields displayed, so up to 50 parameters at any one time should you so choose. So to add a new screen, you simply tap on Add New, you select what you want to add in, so there are some additional things here such as compasses or the virtual partner, but we'll cover those another time. We're just simply going to add another data screen in here. It now invites us to add in the categories we want, so slightly different from how we did it previously. And we're just going to set up a simple screen based around uh, DI2 gear information. So if we select gears, and then the categories, or rather the data fields, that we wish to be displayed. So we're going to go for front gear. If we scroll down, there should be rear gear. And then we're going to go back up because we want DI2 battery level displayed as well. Okay, so we go back from here and we add a tick, and it now shows us the layout that we have. Now, if we suddenly decide that we want to add in some more data fields, it's the same as we did earlier. We just change the select layout, and you can see that it's added in an extra data field here, which again, if we wanted to update them, we do the same process we did before of just, oh, forgive me, you have to select the tick at the bottom first, of just tapping on them, and bringing up the data field categories. But we're happy and we're just going to swap that back to the three data fields that we had for the gear setting. Okay, so we're happy with that. And you can see that screen two has now been added into our list of screens here. Now, if we want the rotation of these to change so that when you scroll through them, they appear in a certain order. So if we want screen two to appear after screen one, all we do is select it and then just bump it up the roster. So we're going to move it up to after screen one. Okay, so next we can adjust the map screen. And with the map screen, you have the option to display two data fields below. Uh, so if we select layout and data fields, you can have no data fields, one or two. So we're going to select two, and then you can see displayed at the bottom here we have two data fields, and if you want to change them, it's the same principle as before. You just tap on them and then select uh, a data field from the categories listed. So again, once you're happy with that, you can go back to the main screen, and then we have a look at the elevation screen here. 
So elevation displays a plot of uh, elevation versus distance here. So you have a nice little graph if you've uploaded a course from somewhere like Garmin Connect or a third party mapping app. And the beauty of that is as you're carrying out a climb, it allows you to track where you are and gauge your pace accordingly. Um, and again, you've got two custom data fields that you can display here. So we have grade displayed. And if we change that, looking at the elevation screen, we could change that to ascent remaining. Okay, and again, once you're happy, you scroll back to the main page. So we're now happy with this. We're gonna work our way back to the uh, main title screen, main menu. And what we're going to do is we're just going to select road and show you what that looks like if you were undertaking a ride. So here's our page one with seven data fields displayed. And a neat little trick that if you wanted to update one of these fields on the fly, all you need to do is just tap and hold and it will eventually highlight. And once it's highlighted, you then release it and it brings up the data field categories and you can change them on the fly. So we'll just quickly change that distance to cadence. And you can see that that's automatically updated. So then if you want to change the data screens you have displayed, all you need to do is swipe across the screen. And here we have our DI2 uh, screen displayed. And then a further swipe will take us to our map page. And again, if you want to update these on the fly, you just tap and hold. So calories, tap and hold, it highlights. We're just going to change that back to distance. And then finally, Another swipe takes us to our elevation page. And again, if you had a course there, you would have a plot of the elevation listed. And again, you can update the two data fields at the bottom should you so wish. So in a few quick minutes, that's how to set up the data screens on your Garmin Edge 1030. If you've liked the video, be sure to subscribe for plenty more videos to come.